guys, so today I thought we would take a look through one of my notebooks. I've been working on this sketchbook since spring of 2010 when I was a junior in college. This isn't my only sketchbook, I have plenty of others that overlap with this one. But this one is giant, so I use it whenever I need a lot of room to sketch ideas or brainstorm or something. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Okay, so let's get started. First we have a blank page because I never draw on the first page of a sketchbook and I actually left the first two pages blank in this one. But then we end up with my very brief sketches for the VidCon poster for the first VidCon, VidCon 2010. So here we can see the VidCon and paper ripping around it see through to layers. So that's kind of what the poster ended up looking like. Let's here we have a lot of words. Oh right, this was when my friends and I in college wanted to make a ghostwriter episode to put on YouTube where we were all going to play all the characters from that TV show Ghostwriter. Um, we never ended up doing it, but it would have been really fun. What is all this? This is just random ideas. Oh yeah, I wanted to make this video where all the fictional universes were all in one universe. So it had Buffy and Doctor Who and Kim Possible and Doctor Horrible and Doctor Draken from Kim Possible. I thought that would have been so funny. Doctor Who, Doctor Horrible, and Doctor Draken all in one video. Can someone, can we make that please? I think that would be hilarious. Oh, another initial sketches. I wanted to do a parody of Bad Romance by Lady Gaga called Bad Typeface and just make like a crazy Lady Gaga style video except all about fonts and have all these crazy props and stuff. But. I never really thought it through more than these three initial sketches. And then we have some collages. This is when I decided I was going to start collaging in my sketchbook like every day. Then I did this one and I wrote a blog post about it and then I never really did it again because it's really messy and you get scraps of paper everywhere. So when I did my internship in New York City, I went into the internship three days a week for, I don't know, a couple weeks, and I, I wrote a note of what I wore every single day because I wanted to make an infographic showing like what outfits went together and what I wore the most often and what I only wore once and if I wore this I couldn't wear that. So I had written down all the initial um, outfits in a different sketchbook and then I compiled them all here and I never did anything with this information. Oh yeah, this was my um, initial sketch of what it was going to look like. Where I sh like I illustrate all the outfits and then I show like the most and the least worn and blah blah blah, all that stuff. I still think it would be cool. Maybe I'll start tracking my outfits again so I can make that one of these days. Here we have some sketches that I did for LeakyCon 2011 because I was on the the design team that year for LeakyCon. These were the sketches that I made for, we were going to make these bathroom signs that said like wizard's chamber and witch's chamber. I don't know if we ever actually made those, but I made a couple sketches. Oh, oh this was a school project for a video class that I took. Also oh, senior year of college, that's where we are now. We're up to senior year of college and I took a music video class where we had to cut out these these white letters that spelled the word Y. I don't know if we had to spell the word Y. I think we did. And then we had to make a music video where we didn't move the letters, we only used light to tell a story. And so I set mine to Legends of Archery by Driftless Pony Club, and these were my initial sketches for that video. It's on my second channel, if you guys want to see it. Um, it's fine. Here, oh here we have the page of when I was trying to teach my friends binary, when we were just like hanging out in college. So, um, if you don't know binary, you count from the right and you go 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on and so forth. And then if you have 1, that means that you take the number and you add it to any other number that says 1, and if it's 0, then you just, you ignore it. So if like this was a 1 and that was a 1, it would be 9, 1 plus 8 is 9. Do you guys get it? And, and then this says, I made John Maida marker because um, John Maida, who's the president of RISD, once gave me a thing of markers that I kept in my college dorm room and I guess we used them to draw this. Cut out piece of paper and it says, girl, you got curves, bye. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what this piece of paper symbolizes. Let's see, and this was when I was working on my senior year thesis project, which was all about YouTube. So I was thinking about ideas of how to redesign YouTube or different layouts we could do. Here I was thinking, what if for iPhone videos, like vertical videos, we changed the player size so it was actually a vertical player. For this one, I wanted to do like a back and forth of video responses where you can just see them all down a list, all on one page. Oh, this one's about separating the video responses from the comments. This one was a band page, so it's like you have a video, you can stream the music right there, you can buy it on iTunes right there, you can see the other music videos right there. And then a how-to video where you had instructions next to the video 
where they update as the video goes along. So you can see text instructions along with the video. And yeah, I don't know, those are kind of some interesting ideas. Another thing I should work on some more. More structured than Tumblr, more flexible than YouTube. That's great, in theory. Now let's design it. That's the hard part. Moving on to the more interesting pictures and things. Here we have the initial sketch for the um, Zombicorns book by John Green, which he wrote for the Project for Awesome one year. This was actually drawn by my roommate at the time, um, Avian, who actually makes videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash Lori Days. I will link it down below if you want to watch her videos. They're really cute. And she's obviously like a really amazing illustrator. This was, oh no, wait, I'm not going to show you guys that because that has to do with a another secret project that I'm sort of resurrecting, so you don't get to see that yet. So now we get to the one part of that thesis project. I actually really like how it came out, and that is my 10,000 subscribers poster. Um, so this is my initial sketches of that. That was when um, Sam Reg downloaded all this data about my subscribers, and I made an infographic poster about it, so that was fun. So this is a script, I think. Did I ever make that video? I don't think I ever made that video. It's all about trying to take the five stages of grief except apply them in a comical way to how to move in San Francisco, which is the most terrifying, difficult, annoying thing you can possibly do in your life. Here we have my initial sketches for the shirt I did for Elmify, and then we have all of the ways that I drew her name in script. Um, so I think I ended up using a different E and a different Elmify. Um, I think it was this Elmify or maybe that one. And I think it was this E. I'm not sure about that. Somebody look at the chart and let me know. Oh, okay, so here we have the the sketches I did for the John Green um, box set. So I wrote down like all my favorite quotes that I could pull images from, and I started making lists of different images from each book. And then back here we can see some of the sketches I did that I scanned in. So that, that um, hurricane is on the book. Actually, that might be the only thing from this page that actually made it. Oh, I think this flower did. And maybe this Venn diagram. I think all the rest I scrapped and just traced from pictures in Illustrator. And then I wanted to do a shirt that said, why buy anything else when you could be buying books and have piles of books everywhere? Because I said that in a video once and I thought it would make a good shirt. Let me know if you want me to actually make that shirt because I can and we can sell it and you could have it. So then this was for my graphic design without a computer series when I was drawing, um, showing that you should just like sketch designs that you like. And here we have the same sort of thing when I was sketching like various layouts from magazines. And then we have, oh, I drew the same thing again because I didn't like the other picture as much. And then we have the collage that I made for that video, um, which is fine. It's all right. Oh, my initial sketches for my Karen Learns to Cook um, logo for the site or for the series that I do on my second channel. Um, I didn't end up using either of these. I ended up just doing it in Illustrator. The, the drawings that I did for when I did Naraman's survey and I made these like typography, typographic illustrations for all the questions. Um, so it was fun. It took me a while. I think like a thousand people saw that video. I don't even know. Oh, okay. So this is when I did that video with Tyler Oakley when we made the, the 3D glasses. And before he came over, I sketched out all of the ideas that I had for what I wanted to do with my 3D glasses. And then I already knew what I was going to do. And then he just came in blind and was like, I don't know what I'm going to make. And I was like, I already have all these ideas. So, ha. And then we had a sketch of my Xenon girl of the 21st century costume that I wanted to make with like a blue skirt and pink tights and a pink tank top and a blue vest. And yeah, I kind of still want to make that costume. Okay, so these are my sketches for um, the Halloween necklaces video that I made. So you can see the little jar there with the, the zombie thing in it. And we have the, the boo necklace, which I made, and then the googly eyes collar necklace. That one was fun. And then we have my sketches for my Thanksgiving craft video, where I, was, I wanted to make mini hats, which I did. And I didn't end up doing that. I wanted to do mini hand turkeys. I didn't do that, but I did make these Venn diagram place cards. That was fun. And then my Christmas craft sketches. I wanted to make all these tiny little stockings which I didn't do. And I wanted to make this tree, which if you saw the video, you know how much that failed. And now we are getting to the Squaresville sketches. So I, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did the poster for season two of Squaresville. And in the background, you just have all these really light gray doodles all kind of collaged together. I didn't draw them as that doodle. I drew them all separately and then arranged them in Photoshop. But here we have more pages of that. And I think we're almost done. Um, so this is, you never know what you can get until you ask us for a blog post I put up. Um, 
a little while ago. Is that it? Is that the last page? Oh, I have like 10 more pages left. But that's it. That's that's my sketchbook. I want to bring up, everyone has different brainstorming and sketching styles. I was definitely told by a lot of my teachers in school that I should stop writing so many words and draw more pictures, but that's just not really how I work best. So if you do the same sort of thing, don't let anyone tell you that you're doing it wrong. Experiment and try new things, but in the end, it's your sketchbook and you can put in it anything that you like. So let me know down below what kind of stuff you put in your sketchbook and or let me know if you want me to do more videos like this with all of my other notebooks from over the years. So if you missed my last two videos, I put up a video on Tuesday about how to make your own ampersand and interrobang pillowcases. You can check that out right here. If you make one, then it could be like we have matching pillowcases and it's like we're best friends. And the video before that was answering frequently asked questions about art school. So if you're thinking about going to art school or thinking about being a graphic designer or if you're going to art school in the fall, you should watch this video right here. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Should I use as the thumbnail for this video? This page right here. You ready? You ready to thumbnail this? Let's thumbnail this up. Is that a good thumbnail? What do you think? Maybe I should do it over here? Okay, I think I got a good thumbnail out of that. Fun fact, that's what you don't see at the end of every video is me just sitting here like posing for the camera. I should totally be a model.